In C++ and most other programming languages, you can use logical operators, and, or, and not, to check multiple conditions at the same time. So let's do a little example where we've got some strings for the uh, login and the password for a system. And we'll ask the user for the login, and then we'll ask the user for the password. And then we'll make some um, decisions and output some stuff based on what they've entered. So let's check for the case where they gave us the correct one um, for both of them. So let's say if the login is equal to um, Sparkle Pony and the password is equal to um, hmm. what can we put as the password? Snickle Fritz. Then we know that we've got both right. So we can say welcome to the system. Oh. All right. Um, then we've got the possibility that they got one right but not the other. So let's actually copy this for a second and say or so if either one of them is right. So if both of them are right, they're going to welcome to the system. If either of them is right, we're going to say, uh, you only have half of the required info. And if neither of them is right, uh, no way. So we're going to check if both of them are right. That's what and is used to do. Um, then we're saying, welcome to the system. Oh, else if the login is Sparkle Pony or the password is Snickle Fritz, then we'll say only have half hey, the required info, else no way. So we can combine these things using and and or. So if I run this guy, let's see. So what are the what are the correct ones? So Sparkle Pony and Snickle Fritz. Then I get welcomed. If I just try one of them, Sparkle Pony um, Bob then I only have half of it, or if I do Bob and then Snickle Fritz, I still only have half of it, and if I don't get either of them right, red, blue, then it's got no way. So I can check different combinations of stuff. If I want both things to be true, then I'll stick an and in between them. If I want one or the other to be true, then I'll put an or in between them. And I can combine more than two of these guys. Like I can keep going like and... Uh, the person's favorite color is blue and whatever, and I can keep linking them together with ands and ors as many as I want and make it as complicated as I want. That's how I can use uh, logical operators in my if statements to make them more complex and build uh, more complicated checks into what I'm doing.